Hello and welcome to Gas Beautio, where this weekend we're looking at uh, spectators. Uh, now here's one chap. We need a lot more than one to fill the all new Gas Beautio Stadium. And uh, some time ago I managed to buy off the internet uh, a pack of, I think it's Zuego Spectators. These fit all the Subutio stands and terraces. Uh, they're sit down fans, but uh, you know, this is what we've got here. Uh, and you can buy these in, I think they're in packs of 50. Don't quote me on that. But you can buy very, various amounts of them. And you can get them either painted or unpainted. I've got some obviously painted ones here. Uh, let's have a look at these. So they come in uh, a few different types. You've got these uh, yellow and blue guys. Quite a lot of them. Uh, some guys wearing black. Uh, a chap with a blue scarf on and an orange top. And there's another one. It's a unhappy looking uh, fella in green and white. Now, the reason I got these painted already is because they've half the job's done for you. I mean, because all their jeans and trousers are all painted on already. So I thought with particularly this one, uh, all I got to do there is paint a blue and white quarter. Uh, quarters on them or of course I could go for the uh, black and yellow quartered away kit that we had some time ago this chap here he's already got a blue scarf on so in theory I could just stick a few little white blobs on that and that's a, a rover scarf or I could try painting quarters on his top I don't know this guy's in black uh, a bit more tricky Maybe we could try and go for the 125 year anniversary shirt on that with the yellow stripe on, black Arab shirt. And this one looks like a lot of uh, our first team's away fans because they wear green and white. He is green and white, so I might leave them alone. Now, you can, like I said, paint these yourself and we're going to have a go at that this, this weekend. Uh, these ones, I think, are going to be the easiest ones, uh, but, no, firstly because he's all spread out. I have got a tool to help me with this. Got the missus to pick up some tweezers, and in the pack of tweezers, um, in the pound shots, are very cheap. There's this sort of backward tweezer job, so I can put uh, him in there, and it gives me a bit more of a handhold to paint them. I've also got these tiny zero zero paint brushes, so that'll be very useful. Uh, and also we've got some paints. Now I had a look on some of the Subutio groups at what paints people were using and eventually come up with these ones. I uh, can't remember exactly where I got them all from. I think I just got them off eBay. Got a few different colours. Skin tone, blue and white obviously. Uh, a couple of blues. Variation in colours over the years. Another skin tone and yellow, you know. Some of our favourite uh, away kits are in yellow. So, a lot of hard work to be done there and a lot of fiddling around. Now, if you can't be bothered fiddling around, and I was a bit worried about doing this because it's the first time I've done this for anything like this for a long, long time. I did have a little bit of model painting when I was a child, but, I mean, you're talking about almost 40 years ago now. So if you can't be bothered doing that, there are people that do this for you. There's a guy on uh, lots of the um, Subutio groups called Stephen Jeffrey. He's got a eBay shop that's under the name, uh, I think it's S66 Owls. And I got in contact with him a while ago. Didn't want to end up with no fans. Now this guy will paint fans for you. And I have to say, he's a very efficient service. As soon as you get older, he's very communicative. And he gets these done. And he managed to paint a few for me. Look at these. So these are the same ones. Already painted in quarters. There's one there. Let's see if I can find some of the other, other types. So we've got... This is this guy that's in the yellow. We've got already got him in the quarters. I'm going to try and replicate that myself to build up the numbers. But like I say, I wanted a few done by uh, Stephen just to make sure that we had some fans there on the stands already. So I'm going to uh, try and emulate that to the best of my ability, uh, knowing that we've already got a few gas heads turning up. Here they all are. Look at them. This guy's even got a little blue hat on. I have to say, I was very impressed. Uh, as mentioned, if you need any of your fans done, uh, S66 Owls on eBay 
you can tell him whatever team you want, and he says he can do them. And uh, yeah, turnaround was very quick. So uh, I was very impressed with that. Uh, now, once we got that done with these away go fans, we can try something a bit more challenging. If you want standing fans, you can buy off eBay for hardly any money at all a pack of 100 double uh, scale railway figures. Now, these seem a little bit smaller. You've got all sorts of types of people in there, like children and everything. Uh, so that's going to be a bit more complicated. Uh, certainly a lot more fiddly, but I'm going to give that a go as well. Uh, and I will film the results when we're uh, done. Uh, and I wanted to show you them ones, just so you know, I just don't show you all the Stevens figures at the end of the weekend and claim them to be mine. These are not mine. They were uh, done by Stephen Jeffrey, S66 Owls. Do check him out on eBay and in the Sputio groups. So yeah, we're going to have a go at that today. Fiddly. If you've watched any of these videos before, you'll already know that um, I'm pretty good at seeing things at that distance. But as soon as they come up here, it looks a lot like you see on the camera. So uh, God knows how this is going to turn out. Let's give it a go, though. Up the gas. <laughs> 